Hello everyone and welcome to this lecture on AWS IoT Core. To begin with, let's understand what exactly is IoT and what are all these different devices that IoT communicates with. So we've got these IoT devices at home, at a factory, within the community. What are all of these devices doing and what exactly is IoT? So IoT or Internet of Things represents all of these computing devices which are connected to the internet and when you look at a typical IoT architecture it consists of these devices it consists of the network structure as well as the cloud technology that allows these devices to communicate with each other and so a basic IoT architecture consists of these three layers the first and foremost layer of course is the perception layer which is all of these sensors these gadgets these devices these things working at that layer then you have the network layer which is the connectivity between these different devices and finally you have the applications which the user actually interacts with so these three components or these three layers make up a iot infrastructure let's understand what exactly is aws iot and then how does it help us so AWS IoT provides the cloud services that connect your IoT devices to other devices and then the AWS cloud services. And it also provides device software that can help you to integrate these IoT devices into AWS IoT based solutions. So you might have a smart bulb which is at home and you want to have infrastructure where all the information about the smart bulb conditions in which it is working need to be relayed and AWS IoT provides that infrastructure which ultimately is consumed by the applications and then you are able to control the smart bulb with that different application. In addition to that if you want to retain all of that data for example store that in a Amazon S3 bucket or a DynamoDB database or send them as alarms to CloudWatch all of that is taken care by AWS IoT Core. So AWS IoT Core enables you to connect all these devices to AWS services and also connect them to other devices. While all of these connections and data flow is happening, security is very, very important. So AWS IoT Core can secure this data as well as these interactions. All of the data which is getting collected, tons and tons of this data can be processed and acted upon thereby you are able to enable applications to interact with these devices and some of these devices may be offline because they don't have internet access so even at that point of time the applications can connect and set up the state of these devices based on the last known configuration or the last known state that they were in and it also enables you to produce low cost alexa built-in devices so imagine that you have got a smart bulb uh, with a built-in speaker which is installed in your bathroom and then while you're getting ready to office you want to listen to an uplifting tone AWS IoT Core allows you to do that. What are the main features of AWS IoT Core? Let's have a quick look at that. So very first one of course is that AWS IoT Core lets you connect billions and billions of IoT devices and route the trillions of messages between these devices without having to manage any infrastructure. So you don't need to be taking the pain of managing all of these servers or, or message queues or the rules. All of that is taken care by AWS IoT Core, allowing you to build the devices, the capabilities and the applications that interface with them. The popular Protocols are supported, including SHQ Telemetry Transport or MQTT, HTTPS, MQTT over WebSockets, as well as LoRaWAN protocol. While all of this is happening, we want to ensure that no rogue devices are connecting to our AWS IoT Core. Every device is able to authenticate 
as well as the communication which is happening between the devices and Amazon Web Services and the applications is encrypted. So that's what AWS IoT Core provides you. All of this data that you're getting, you are able to massage this data, filter this data, transform this data, and based on rules that you set up, you can act upon this device data on the fly. So this can really be your scenario if you are looking to build your own IoT infrastructure. It can start easy with open source uh, technologies, with your own investment on servers and infrastructure, but as the devices scale up, as the connections scale up, as the messages start flowing in, it can easily become a very painful task. So what are some of the other features of AWS IoT Core? We have a device advisor, which allows you to test these devices even before you put them into production. So while you are working on these devices, you can, you can go through testing them, understanding if they are capable, they are compatible with AWS IoT Core while you are in the development stage itself. And then when you have a completely tested series of devices, certified devices, you can then go ahead and deploy them in production. This is a very core feature, which is device shadow. So with AWS IoT Core, you can create a persistent virtual version or device shadow of each device so that you can, you can store the state in AWS IoT Core and then applications or other devices can read these messages and accordingly interact with the device. So imagine that a device which is there in your home uh, is working absolutely fine while internet is available. When the internet is not available, the device information is stored in the device shadow and accordingly that information is relayed back to the applications or the devices. When internet connectivity is restored, these devices come back online and then whatever state that you want these devices to be in, for example, the AC to be switched on, cooling at 22 degrees Celsius can accordingly be worked upon. AWS IoT Core also provides a rules engine which makes it possible to build applications that can gather this huge amount of data, process this and analyze and act on this data. And again, without you having to manage that infrastructure. So imagine that the data which is coming in needs to go to an S3 bucket or after it reaches a certain threshold, an action needs to be initiated through a Lambda function. All of that can be triggered via the rules engine. Customers also can set up now their own private LoRaWAN networks. LoRaWAN is a low power, wide area networking protocol. And the main feature of this is that it allows wireless connection between battery operated things or devices. So AWS IoT customers do not have to set up their own LoRaWAN network server. They can easily integrate these devices and gateways to the AWS cloud. Amazon Sidewalk is another feature which uh, AWS IoT Core extends. It's a shared network, a certain amount of bandwidth of devices which are connected or, or routers and networking equipment which are connected to Amazon Sidewalk is shared with Amazon. So you might have devices which might go outside, let's say of your home network and they can still be connected to AWS IoT Core. So a pet Caller is an example of this. So the when you're taking the pet out for a walk, the connectivity from your home network will be lost. But with Amazon Sidewalk, you will still be able to connect with your pet tracker and then all of that information can be relayed back to AWS IoT Core. What are some of the IoT use cases? I mean, this fantastic technology, what can it be used for? So one of the most popular Use cases, of course, optimizing industrial operations. So AWS IoT Core allows these applications to remotely monitor machines which are working in the factory, improve their quality as well as reduce any unplanned downtimes. So you can have like a vibration sensor on these, on, on these machines which are working in the factory and you can understand the range of vibrations that the machine undergoes when it is working fine, working normally. And when the vibrations increase, you will be able to understand that, okay, it is time for you to go for maintenance rather than waiting for the machine to break down. So this kind of solutions can be built using AWS IoT. The second use case is 
in creating these smart buildings and ultimately these smart cities. So you can have all of these devices providing this telemetry data back to AWS IoT. Uh, for example, the air quality of a specific area can be relayed and accordingly measures can be taken or traffic can be diverted from that area. So these are some of those innovative solutions which can be built. This of course is where IoT is making inroads and that is to your house so that you can have all of these different consumer products. So you can have a smart AC which you can remotely switch on, switch off even before you reach home. You can have a smart washing machine which is able to start washing when you're on the way home. And all of these different kinds of applications, for example, a smart lighting, all of these kind of solutions can be built in the consumer space. A lot of these sensors and these smart devices are making their way into vehicles and that allows a lot of this data to be stored and processed and accordingly applications can be created which can improve the efficiency of these vehicles or improve other things like for example the fuel efficiency of the vehicles. So AWS IoT is also used heavily to capture all of this vehicle data and within this mobility sector to improve vehicles and their operations. For more details check the link in the description. Learn with Wits Labs. Success Certified.